coverage mapping with GPS using Enritsu's E-Series Spectrum Master, Cell Master, and Site Master instruments allows you to superimpose RSSI measurements directly on top of a map. The data collected can then be moved out as an image or raw data file. To begin coverage mapping, you start with the signal you want to measure. In this demonstration, we're using a power transmitter at 902.5 MHz. We will be mapping Receive Signal Strength Indicator, or RSSI. To begin, capture a map from a third-party map provider with a small PC software package called MapMaster. MapMaster converts the image to an MAP file so it can be read by the instrument. To do so, first run the MapMaster application. Press Capture Map. The program will open a window where you can enter the desired address. The program then loads the area, and using the zoom and move functions, the desired area can be designated. When done, press Capture Map on the lower right. MapMaster will automatically enter the GPS information and convert to an MAP file. Once finished, save the file onto a USB stick. You can then insert the USB into the instrument's USB port. The instrument has many different mode capabilities, but for coverage mapping with GPS, you have to be in the Spectrum Analyzer mode. One way to enter this mode is by also entering the Coverage Mapping mode. To accomplish both, access the main menu and touch the soft key icon, SPA Coverage Mapping. Coverage mapping requires the use of the GPS function, which can be accessed using the GPS submenu. Once connected, coverage mapping can then be started. From the Coverage Mapping menu, you can go to the Save, Recall, Points, Map menu in order to open the just created MAP file. Once found on the USB and opened, the image from the converted map appears on the instrument screen. Before we begin coverage mapping, you can adjust the parameters to your specification. To do so, enter the Measurement Setup submenu. From there, you can touch the RSSI button and change the threshold values as needed. The threshold values translate to different colored dots. You can decide the values of the four colors that appear on the map. In this case, excellent is any values greater than minus 70, very good is above minus 80, good above minus 90, and poor is above minus 100. Anything below that is fail. In this demonstration, excellent will be green, very good will be light green, good, orange, poor, yellow, and a failure will be red. At the very bottom of all the mapping displays is indication of the current level that you're measuring, rather than a spectrum analyzer display. You can also change the way the instrument collects data by going to the point distance time setup. If you set the collection setting to time, the instrument will automatically plot points whenever the designated time is reached. If the distance option is set, you receive a data point whenever the allocated distance has been met. With setup finished, you can now start coverage mapping. Move to the needed location outside. The instrument will automatically set your position in reference with the on-screen map. To begin mapping, press Start Data Collection. Remember, the way the instrument records the points depends on the choice of measurement, time or distance. The two ways you can begin mapping changes the way you must coverage map. When using the distance method, the instrument will automatically plot points whenever the allocated distance is met. This provides a more uniform method when plotting points. With the time setting selected, the instrument records the data as time passes. The user can therefore focus more or less on a certain area, simply by moving slower or faster. For both methods, once you've finished mapping, press Stop Data Collection. Now you can export the results. When saved as a KML file, the points can be opened once again by the instrument or with Google Earth for inspection. You can also save it as a JPEG for easy viewing or a tab delimited file. You first have to access the Save, Recall, Points Map submenu. From there, select Save KML Points, Save JPEG, or save tab delimited points. 
The pop-up prompt allows you to change the file name and file type before saving. You can then press Enter to save it to the instrument's internal memory. Now copy this to the USB drive, and from there, a computer. The KML file can be opened by the instrument for later use, or by the program Google Earth. Google Earth will automatically move to the mapped area and plot the points. The points can also be clicked on, so each individual point's information can be analyzed. Alternatively, if you save the file from the instrument as a JPEG, the JPEG can be opened and the map with the points can be viewed for easy analysis. A tab delimited file can be opened with Excel or another software program to be more accurately analyzed. That concludes our demonstration. For more information about coverage mapping with GPS using Anritsu's Spectrum Master, Site Master, and Cell Master instruments, please see the Anritsu website and the Coverage Mapping with GPS application note.